Okay, here's a video that I promised. Um, I had a question as to what the noise is when fractional horsepower motors, mostly blower motors, shut down, you have a click, and sometimes you have some other noises depending upon the motor and what kind of switch it has on it. <clears throat> I chose a dryer motor because as you can see it's pretty much open and you can see everything there is in it. You have your micro switch, your thermal protector, this is your run winding and inside here where my finger is it runs around here is the start winding which is thinner. Uh, these two motors are basically the same. This one's a GE motor from a GE dryer. This is a Whirlpool motor which I believe came from a Kenmore which is pretty much the same thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you take a look the switches are basically identical and this motor is pretty much totally enclosed and it is much, much, much older. Uh, let's see here. This here is basically the same switch that's mounted on here. It's an extra one for this motor. Um, it serves several functions. The main function that it does is you can see where the power leads are hooked up. It supplies power to the start winding through here, neutral through here, and hot to the run winding here. When this reaches, let me use this one because it's easier to see, when it reaches speed, this little mechanism right here, known as a centrifugal switch, pulls back, opens up the switch, and shuts down the start winding. And that's pretty much the same thing here. But, in a dryer, you have a couple extra terminals down here. Usually there's a hot up here for the motor, another hot down here, and then on this side you have a lead that comes out and goes to your heating element. So if your motor does not start up completely <clears throat> or fails to enter the run stage, the heat will not come on if you have an electric dryer. Uh, this one I believe was out of a gas dryer, but the switch is still equipped to handle electric. They're pretty much universal. Um, give a little run demonstration here of this one and the other one. What the heck? As you can see, it pulled the switch back. That lever came down, shut down the start winding. So, right now, this is the only winding that's energized. This winding right here, which is kind of a golden color, is not running. when it powers down. Springs retract it, return the switch to position to where it's able to start up again. This motor, same thing. This one has a little bit more kick to it. I think this is a quarter, this is a third horsepower this is a quarter. No, oh, that's a third. And I don't know what this one is. Could be a third also. Just says General Electric on it and the serial number. And this one, if you look real close right there. see the switch retract to the ready start position. 
Thank you for watching. Hope this helps.